transformation time. to invest in a better week. Welcome table number one, my favourite table over there. Right, I've always wanted to do this, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get ready to rumble! It's three days and nights, 24-7 Elvis. People just adore him. He is rock and roll. His looks, his music, his style. Best looking man ever on the planet. Honestly, sex on the stick, isn't he? Everybody's here for the same reason, to see these men on stage bring to life the essence of Elvis. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the 2018 European Elvis Championships. Please welcome your first contestant. You gotta have a bit of an ego to do this. As blokes, usually we have egos anyway. You've got two songs that you've got to deliver. Vocals, looks, stage presence. You're basically looking for the closest to Elvis. I was level of pressure. Just before we went on there, we're back in there, I couldn't even hold me drink. Not that drink, water. I was on water. At the end of the day, it's a competition. If you're booking an Elvis, are you gonna book someone that is the European champion or is not? It's almost like a seal of approval. When you look at that, what you're seeing is a superhero's outfit. Look at it. Suit, cape, ornate belt, they're pieces of art. Putting on a jumpsuit for the first time is just really, really special. It's probably infectious. Once you start, you want more of it, you want to do more of it. Well, I want to go home, I could never be Elvis, no one could ever be Elvis. I just love everything about him and just want to do him justice, really. It's just like a switch, you get on stage and bang, it comes on. You know, and then you come off stage and it's back to being who you are. Do you mind if I ask what your full-time job is? I'm a police officer. Oh, boring job, that's why you do this. I'm a builder by trade. At my age and time of life, I'd rather be doing something different than breaking my back on building signs. Good afternoon, Birmingham. How are we? All right? I'll make it nice and quick. Thank you very much. We've got a bit of one. Can I get the staff love? It's now or never. Come home in time. Kiss me, my darling. Be mine tonight. I have to do it professionally, but at the moment I do it on my own. So you set the gear up, you carry it up the stairs. What I want to do is what I'm doing here. Come on. One, two, one, two, and then do 45 minutes, then do another 45 minutes, and then stop, and then go off in the bar, brandy and coke. Oh, I wish I was in the land of God. Oh, the day where I'm not. People still thirst for something that is more simplistic. Everything in life is complicated now. Elvis's music wasn't complicated. Elvis was not a complicated man, and he made so many people fall in love with what he did. I'm ex-military and done several tours in Northern Ireland, and I suffer from post-traumatic stress disorder. So for me, it's a release, and it's adrenaline. So where I'm not in a combat situation, I'm now in a situation where I've got the adrenaline going, but there's no danger. So I, I cope with the stress. Thank you very much.
Okay, folks, straight on to your next contestant. Please welcome to the stage, Carl Ryder. These guys get together not only because of Elvis, but because they form friendships. It's a brotherhood. I'm going to slow it down a little bit now. A young lady once said to me, a beautiful young lady from London, she once said to me, uh, I don't want one of those young guys where they all try and do the uh, 1970s Elvis. They should have a good time and concentrate on the 50s and 60s. Leave the uh, 19th century to the older guys, the guys have had a few tragedies in their lives. I had uh, some misfortune not long ago. My girlfriend passed away a couple of months ago as a huge Elvis fan. When you're at your worst, if you've got somebody to lean on, it always helps. Towards the end of last year, I thought, I won't bother. I'd just give up on the uh, competitions, but I just wanted to be with these people. And that was the most important thing. People who knew her, and people who remembered her, and just getting to that little Alps ball. Maybe it's too late. I sometimes even hate myself. Alvis' songs are emotional anyway, especially the latter songs. He experienced life, he experienced tragedy. Just a great opportunity to just go there and just let it all out. Where is all my self control? I'm burning, burning in my soul. Katie loved this event. It was right for him to do it in her memory. It's midnight. And I miss you. In her memory, I still felt that she was there watching me and criticising me. It is wonderful because they have kept Elvis's memory alive, brought a lot of happiness to people. People says, oh, it's, it's going to die, just like I've heard these old time preachers get on and say, oh, the earth's in the next year and it's still here. Well, the thing of it is, this is never going to die. We've been doing it 17 years now. A lot of the people that have been there have been kind of for years. We've met so many amazing people. American people, German people, Chinese. It's one just big Elvis family. You're going to have Elvis around till the end of the earth. Elvis will turn into be some type of a religion. 